In a previous tutorial, we created this A3 artboard and we placed these three garments on there. We then transformed them to make them larger, we distributed them equally to each other, and we aligned them equally at the top. Now I want to add some text, and I want the text to be aligned with the garments. So this is going to be demonstrating a really useful function called key alignment, or aligned key object. So, I start by writing some text. I'm just going to call this jumper. And I'm going to call this one trousers. And by clicking on the selection tool, clicking somewhere else, just deselect everything. And make a final box, which I'm going to call lady top. Now, the thing to remember is that each of these text boxes, even though they're different sizes, they all have the same font, which is Myriad Pro, bold, size 40. That's not actually that important. You could choose any font style or character, but the important thing is that it is centered as a paragraph. So, all of these garments are currently ungrouped, which is exactly how we want it to be. If they are currently grouped, just right click and say ungroup. So, how do I get this text to be exactly in line with jump? So I can just select that, now we can go um, on here, on the drop-down, Align to Key Object. Now, Align to Key Object is where you say, this object is the focus. Whatever you do, this object will stay in place. So if we have this key object selected, and say Align Left, everything aligns to the left of that object. If it's Align Right, it's Align Right of that object, and so forth. Now, I want the jumper to stay put, and I want the text to be moving. So, I just click on the jumper, and let's see this blue line has moved, to signify that the actual jumper, the garment, is the key object. Now, go to my alignment tools, and say first call line center, and the text just goes in line. Let's do it again. So select these two, trousers, and um, the actual text trousers. Drop down, align to key object, Select the key object, which is going to be just, just by left-clicking on the trousers, and then the horizontal align center. One more time, click on the garment, let's hold on shift this time and click on the text. So they're both selected on the drop-down, align to key object, and just click center align. Now you see then, the text was selected as the um, key object, so I'm just going to undo that, which is Ctrl Z, align to key object, select the garment, and then um, the horizontal line center. So we've now got all our text in line exactly with the garments, but I'm not too happy. I want all my text to be a nice line at the bottom. So if I select my three texts, so one, two, three, I can now start to align them. However, you can't see the alignment options at the top of the page. So if you click on here, the align text, the panel comes out and you can see exactly all the alignment options. So on the drop down, align to key object. I'm going to select trousers as my key object. So I'm ready to align. Click on the alignment text again, and the alignment panel opens up. So if we say vertical align top, the top of the text boxes goes to the top of the trouser text box. In short, they're all lovely and aligned. If I now just deselect, you can see that I've got my garments exactly in the center of the page. They're well distributed, they're well aligned, the text below is equal. I haven't done any measuring, this is all done through the alignment tool.